Something that we haven't dealt with a lot is syntax or uh, string index out of bounds errors. Okay, and what that is is, let's say I have uh, something like this, and this is straight off your study guide. I think it's uh, the fourth question in part one. We have this string called word, right? And what happens is, if I don't put a range, if I put a range here, right? And let's just cop, we have that in here. If I run this, it runs fine. I put in a word, we're all good, right? It prints it backwards. If I do this, right? Let's say I do, um, let's say I run this and I put in bazooka. Bazooka has seven characters, but they're going to get indexed from zero to six. This is actually at a certain point, like the first thing when the loop runs, it's calling an index that doesn't exist, right? But um, because I put a range here, the fact that there's that index error is masked. If I, but I could actually rewrite this, and this could actually just be word at i, right? If I run this, I get an index out of range error, right? What that means is I'm the first index that I call is index seven, but the highest index that's in word is the last letter in bazooka, which is at index six. Index seven doesn't exist, right? Same thing if I go to here. I believe it's the same thing. It might actually not be the same thing. It might actually pass it up, but we'll try it. If I go to negative one here, what's going to happen for whatever reason, when you, do, when you do Python, it wraps around to this last letter, right? So that A gets tucked uh, behind. Even though we're going forward, right? Because I put negative one, it goes it goes from here, right? Negative one back around to this letter, and it actually prints it prior to everything else. You guys with me so far? So you need to understand that if I give you a question like this, and I put uh, here, and there's no negative one here. You need to understand that that's going to give you an index out of range error. Do we have questions on that? Okay, like I said, I'm going to upload the video, but some of the questions uh, that you have on here, you're going to say, how would the how would you change the code to make each of the other conditions true? Make sure that you're altering, that you know how to alter each of these functions to make an index out of bounds error uh, happen. So if I were being smart and wanting to be super prepared for the test, which is on Tuesday, I would go through each one of these and see if I can create an index out of bounds error. Are we clear? Please ask questions if you